Hi everyone, I'm Anna from GeoMarble and today I'll be walking you through the new software as a service ArcGIS image, which is a new way for imagery and raster data uh, to be used in ArcGIS online. So to actually use ArcGIS image, it's an add-on license, which you'll see in your organization and licenses page. So if I go to add-on licenses and see user type extensions, this is where you would find that. To compare ArcGIS image to the previous ways to use raster data in ArcGIS online, if I see this layer Kharkiv, which I uploaded just as an image, so GeoTIFF and then uploaded it, uh, I see that I can't actually use it in ArcGIS online, so I can't see it in the map viewer, I can't add it to any of my maps or projects. I can only download, update, or share it. And the only way prior to this to actually use raster data in ArcGIS Online was to go through Pro and tile a layer and then upload. So this cuts out the need for that. So if I go back to my demo folder here, I see these two layers. One is a tiled imagery layer and one is an imagery layer. There are two different types. So if I go to make a new item and I select imagery layer, I'll see these two options, tiled or dynamic. The differences are gonna be how those layers are rendered and then some of their capabilities. So the tiled imagery layer is going to render tiles on the fly to view the layer. And then the dynamic imagery layer is gonna be dynamically rendered. So for the demo, I'm gonna create one of each. I'm gonna make it from one image and let me choose Kharkiv, which was my example image. I see that it's a TIFF file and I'm going to use all the same tags. All right, and now I'm going to hit create and I see it's uploading and then the two layers are gonna start to be created. So now that I've created those things, I'm gonna go to my folder and I see these layers. So let me go back to the correct folder. And now I see my tiled imagery layer and my dynamic imagery layer. So if I wanna compare those two, I'm gonna view the imagery and then let me add the new layer. So I'll add both of these. All right, so for my analysis, I'm going to actually show you how you would create a similar layer to this tiled layer of Kharkiv. So this layer is taken from secondary cities and it is an aspect layer. So we see it with the symbology here just to show slope direction for Kharkiv. Now I've made an additional tiled imagery layer here which is the elevation of Kharkiv. So if I want to actually do analysis on this layer, which is also a tiled imagery layer, I'm just gonna go to analysis, raster analysis, and then terrain, and I'm going to actually create another aspect layer. So derive aspect, I'm gonna take my elevation layer here. I'm gonna give it a prettier name, and then I'm gonna save it in my folder, and I want to also create a tiled imagery layer. If I wanted to, I could create a dynamic one, but for storage sake, I'm just gonna keep it as tiled, and I'm gonna run my analysis. All right, and I see it appearing as a result. All right. And when that's finished, I see this new aspect layer of Kharkiv. If I turn off this guy and this guy, you see how similar those are. This just has the different symbology. So I see that ArcGIS Online has given me this. And if I look at my original layer, I see the same thing. And if I wanted to just take this layer and apply symbology to it, I could. So this is an overview of how you can use the new ArcGIS image to add raster data and imagery to map projects within ArcGIS Online without having to go through pro and tiling layers yourselves. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.